Hello friends, today I have come with a new topic that is OSPF routing protocols and you guys know my name that is Erin Chaudhary. So today I will discuss about the OSPF and the links of it. So what is OSPF actually? The, the OSPF stands for the Open Shortest Path Protocol is an inter-domain routing protocol based on link state routing and I will shortly discuss about what is intra-domain and link state routing and its domain is also an autonomous system. So what is inter-domain routing protocol? An inter-domain routing protocol like REAP, EIGRP, OSP for ISS focus on distributing routes based on link quality or load balancing. With that, each router might know a specific route for all the subnets in your network. BGP is the only inter-domain routing protocol in use today. And uh, what is link state routing? The link state routing uh, protocols are one of the two main classes of routing protocols used in packet switching networks for computer communications, the order being distance ve uh, vector routing protocols. The link state protocol is performed by every switching node in the network. Uh, the basic concept of link state routing is that every node constructs a map of the connectivity to the network in the form of a graph showing which nodes are connected to which other nodes. For a node then independently calculates the next best lo logical path from it to every possible destination in the network. Each collection of best paths will then form each node's routing table. And what is an autonomous system? Uh, within the internet, an autonomous system is a collection of connected internet protocol routing prefixes and the control of one or more network operators on behalf of a single administrative entity or domain that uh, presents a common clearly defined routing policy to the internet. And what is area? To handle routing efficiently and in a timely manner, the OSPF divides an autonomous system into areas. An area is a collection of networks, hosts, and routers all contained within an autonomous system. An autonomous system can be divided into many different areas. So area in autonomous system is, uh, you can see here, there are three areas, area 1, area 2, and area 0. You must remember that area 0 is common to every autonomous system. Every autonomous system should contain area 0 and that should be in common between area and area 2. And that is the backbone area actually. So what is matrix? The OSPF uh, protocol allows the administrator to assign a cost called the matrix to each route. The matrix can be based on a type of service like uh, minimum delay and maximum throughput. As a matter of fact, a router can have multiple routing tables, each based on different type of services. The types of links are point-to-point -point transient, staff, and virtual. And uh, what is point-to-point -point link actually? A point-to-point -point link connects two routers without any other host or router in between. You can see in the figure that there is uh, two routers and no other routers or host in between. And uh, what is transient link? And transient link is a network with several routers attached to it. You can see there, there are many routers and the data can enter to any of the routers and leave to any router. And what is a stub link? Uh, a stub link is a network that is connected to only one router. The data packets enter uh, the network through the single router and leave the network to the same router. And what is virtual link? Uh, when the link between two routers is broken, the administration may create a virtual link between them using a longer path that probably goes to several other routers. Suppose that a link between two routers is broken. So we will create a virtual link to connect those two routers again. The types of OSPF packets are like The types of OSPF packets are like hello, database description, link state request, and link state update, and link state acknowledgement. 
so uh, that's for today i will uh, next i will come with new videos and if you like my videos please subscribe thank you